Um, let's talk about that uh, PSNI uh, officer and the bomb that was placed in her car, the device. Um, I was struck reading that story uh, by the fact that there was a child's seat in the back of the car. Um, this is a chilling development to, a, to right thinking people on this island. Um, your thoughts on that, please. It's absolutely chilling. And, you know, there's no going back. So say the, those people that are responsible, they should pack up and leave because there's leave the stage because there's no room for them. Nobody's interested in going back. This is a young woman with a young child. This could have been potentially fatal uh, to herself and to her young family. I spoke to the, to the officer yeah. involved. How is she? She was in shock. She was in shock of the enormity about what could have happened to her. So those people in society that are trying to drag us back, they don't have a place. It was roundly condemned by everybody, and rightly so. And what we need to do uh, as political leaders is to continue to work together, mm. build the peace. Like, the progress that's been made in the last 23 years is just amazing to watch. But what, what, they, what those people did, and there's a, there's a, a building litany of, of things that they're doing to be disruptive and destructive... Um, or would they be buoyed up and encouraged by talk of a border poll? In other words, is this maybe not quite the right time for talk of a border poll at this stage? Now is exactly the right time to talk about is the it? India referendum. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's really important to put things in perspective, particularly in relation to the scenes we've witnessed in Belfast and some parts of Derry in the last number of weeks. These are small pockets of people, albeit disturbing, and none of us want to see that. But there is no going back, Ryan. Yeah. These are a small number of people. Now is the time for dialogue, to have the conversation, to plan for something better. You know, we're, these young people that are on the streets, and some of them are as young as 13, yes. in small pockets, but they are, you know, some as young as 13. And they probably don't even know what they're on the street for. So what we need to do is make sure that that young person at 13 has money in their pocket, has a home, has a roof yeah. over their head, has a job, has a training prospect. You know, this is something that none of us are, that are interested in, or sorry, this is something that we all need to be interested in making sure that that young person has a purpose. And I'll play my role in that and I'll work with other political leaders to make sure that's the case.